Hi guys, I'm Tati, I'm an editor, and in today's video, I had a little bit of a mistake that I made. I made a video showing you guys how to get good quality on your edits. A lot of you guys are asking me like, what do you do during the upload process of TikTok? Because I showed basically how I get my quality in the editing process, topaz, coloring, etc. But I never showed you guys how to prevent TikTok essentially nuking your quality into a bunch of little pixels when you upload on TikTok, because that happens. Overall, I think that it's very hard to upload on perfect quality on TikTok, no matter what, TikTok will always nuke a little bit of your quality and all you can really do is make sure that your coloring is good and that your clips are good but i think tiktok and instagram any social media app that you upload a hefty edit on it's gonna reduce the quality a little bit i don't know why i wish i knew but i have found ways to reduce it i just think that my quality still is probably 100 better on my computer than it is on tiktok you know what i mean but i will be showing you my steps with handbrake and the uploading process and how I deal with all of that. It's not gonna be the best advice ever, you know what I mean? Cause like I said, like TikTok is definitely gonna nuke you, but I am just gonna show you what I do. Hopefully it works for you. You will need Handbrake for this. It's a free application. I think it's on both Mac and Windows. I have a Mac, no for sure it's on Mac. I don't know about Windows. It's Handbrake and I'm just gonna show you those settings. But before we get into the tutorial, let's roll our beloved commercial. Hello there. Like most editors, I have a pay hip. Now granted, most of the things on my pay hip, I already have tutorials on my YouTube channel for however if you're lazy or just want to support me i have a numerous amount of resources and presets on my pay hip that includes my popular glitch style pack my shake pack and even colorings plus more if the prices are too much for you you are not obligated to buy it but if you do thank you so much and enjoy hi guys very quick tutorial this week just a few videos back i recently made a tutorial on basically how to get my quality and in that video i taught you guys about my coloring and my topaz settings and what i do for sharpening etc i really recommend that video if you're having trouble with quality as far as like after effects and coloring wise this is kind of a part two because i kind of forgot to show you guys what i do as far as posting and the aftermath of rendering um so that's what we're gonna be doing today our mascot here is bob from the new thunderbolts movie oh my god i thought this would be so bad but anyway basically <laughs> after you render especially if you're on mac right you have to change the mov file to an mp4 okay this is just something that has to happen because it's also going to benefit you as far as space okay i will have edits that'll be a big whopping two gigabytes and then i do this method with handbrake and everything that i'm about to show you and it'll be like 200 like little itty bitty megabytes okay so as far as storage this is gonna help you and then it's also gonna keep your quality and make it uploadable <laughs> it's not a word but make it uploadable to tiktok or wherever you're trying to post so in my applications then on my lovely pretty pink button mac i have handbrake and that is our bestie the edit that i where is the edit Oh, ignore this but you're gonna click your edit which should be an mov file at least on mac i don't know it's just gonna be different for you guys on windows because i don't have windows i don't know if your guys' stuff renders as an mov i don't know if there's an option where you can do it as mp4 but if it is mov then you can keep following along if it's not i think handbrake is still beneficial for you um even so but you're just gonna click on whatever edit it is now we're gonna go to the preset and we're going to go to professional you're gonna do professional production max then we're gonna go all the way to video and we see constant quality right down to 20 rf and then it's gonna do save as you know you can rename it redo it whatever you want everything stays the same format mp4 okay this is what we really really want and then we do the start button oh i need to redo this because it's having trouble then we push start now i want to show you guys really quickly you see this 920 megabytes this may as well be one gigabyte okay insane now I'm going to show you what it is after we do this little method here. 172. Thank God, because this will literally eat your computer. OK, now we're going to go to TikTok and upload. Oh, and let's do a quick quality comparison. I really don't notice a difference, and that's kind of the point, but I'll still show you. I don't know if you guys see any differences. Let me know. Um, because I'd love to know, but I don't think there's a difference and that would be nice if there isn't because that's kind of the whole point of this tutorial. So we're on my TikTok page here. Close these notifications. So then we go to upload. Oh my God, look how bad I am with just everything, the activity and messages. Um, we're gonna go to upload. I take the MP4 video 
okay and then i upload it just like this um i keep literally everything the same there's nothing to really change or anything like that on your laptop at least on your phone you can make like some itty bitty changes that i don't really think necessarily matter people always ask oh my gosh should i upload on my laptop or on my phone and to be honest with you i don't see a difference people are like do not dare upload on your laptop or do not dare upload on your phone um i truly don't see a difference in quality in either one i honestly think that maybe uploading on my phone is like a little bit quality reduction it's just easier for me to upload on my laptop and that's why i do it and i don't notice significant change enough to like switch or anything like that if you guys notice a change or a difference please comment down below i would love to know i also told people that if your quality doesn't look good before you upload on tiktok guess what tiktok is gonna do it's going to nuke your quality okay it's literally just gonna drop a big ugly quality bomb on your edit if it does not look good prior to uploading um and once again to figure out like how to get good quality prior to uploading a tiktok you can watch my original video this is the first part where i show you how to do my coloring and stuff so you just do your little caption and then you get your little cover and then you just push upload guys um that's a uh, you know it's so like glitchy on the laptop though i can't lie i always have to redo this cover yeah anyway i hope this tutorial helped you guys can go back to the other tati now bye how was the tutorial guys new mic by the way okay i was getting some complaints about the other mic and i decided to switch out to this you know it's not really giving the aesthetic i want but it'll work i guess um thank you guys so much for watching editing account is filmed by tati on both instagram and tiktok anyways i love you guys and bye Mwah, mwah, mwah.